Hi there Aquarius, how are you doing today? Welcome to your reading and this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and North Node or if you've got very strong Aquarius placement in your charts and this is timeless so whenever you get to the message and it resonates for you it will resonate in the first few cards uh, if this is your current energy. Uh, and we're going to be looking at just what spirit want you to talk about, uh, wants to talk about with you today. Uh, we're going to be looking at just your current energy, what's coming, what's what's been happening, um, and just what spirit want you to know. So let's let's uh, so spirit will let spirit lead this one. And there we go, eight of earth. Okay. Three of earth. You have a passion project or something that you, something small, a small idea or a development of something that is currently relatively small in terms of the time that you're putting in, the attention you're putting into it, um, that is starting to come into something. This could be a new relationship. This could be a new side hustle. This could be, um, this is something new that you're starting to, that you've been kind of putting attention time and effort into um let's get some more so we've got the three of earth and the eight of earth something you really enjoy this could be a musical instrument that you've started to play as well something that you've picked up recently that you're starting to enjoy and it kind of puts you it helps you in terms of your sense of peace your sense of belonging your sense of purpose somehow what else for Aquarius, please? Yeah, two of fire. This is early days for something that feels very, it's really like fueling passion, feels exciting, um, but very new. What else? Let's get, what else happening for Aquarius? Call. yes 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 something that you feel very connected to it's like it's almost like something that it's either how have I only just met this person or how have I only just discovered this that's the feeling I'm getting but it feels like it's in kind of like baby nurture stages um there could be there's like a surrendering to the feeling that you're having right now is so profound and so pure you have no choice but to surrender to it and it's like you're you're being very you're very aware not to allow kind of past patterns behaviors or anything that's anything that has been in the past or that you've you you're doing something different this time around and you don't because you know that this is the right thing the new thing this is this could also be a relationship that's taken a really positive turn um could be family member romantic however it resonates but something where it's there's a newness energy here really shedding shedding old skin let's have a look a little bit deeper what's happening here the divine director invention and purpose um, invitation and purpose divine intervention is occurring know that you are being guided happiness is your purpose it's definitely something purposeful something feels fated something really feels fated okay nice and we've got mary magdalene teacher awakens you have something important to share follow the inner call don't let it, don't let anything stop you it could be whatever this new thing is there could be some judgment around it there could be some opinions that are not that are actually coming from people that don't understand you your purpose what you're here to do um they don't understand how the dots are connecting and this is spirit saying ignore that anything that comes your way that is anywhere near that kind of energy it's like thanks for your opinion but no <laughs> just shut it down don't let it near you and especially like energetically don't let it near you I feel like that's important it could be that you're teaching something or you you have a teacher um 
you are exploring something with a teacher or taking um, or learning something this could even be with spirit but it feels like it's coming out in the physical for, for most of you uh, we've got master buddha increased awareness deep connection trust your inner voice you know you've already had this knowing and now this is just the awareness to keep connected to that inner knowing oops i think that was my thumb there we go what else do we need to know at this time for aquarius please spirit it's, I, it's so positive, this energy. Saint Kumara, light activation. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. You have expanded your light here. You're going into a next, these next few months is all about you being true to your, your, inner, your inner soul purpose, your spiritual energy, your conscious energy. We've got Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Nice. Your thoughts and magnet um sorry, your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. This is why I wondered why I couldn't get my words out here. This is why we were picking up on anything. If you had an old pattern, let me try and think of a, a metaphor here. If you say, for example, you had uh, a business in the past. And apply how it, this how it resonates in terms of principle. But say if you had a business in the past and you overworked, and you it was something that you could do really well, something that you knew really well, but it felt like it was sucking the life out of you. You were overworked. You um you were kind of like on this proving yourself to yourself type of energy. Like you were really trying hard, and it didn't work. And at the end of it, you were like, I don't understand why it didn't work because or especially at the time you couldn't understand why it didn't work because you were putting all of the effort in um but actually it just wasn't meant to be and you overworking and you burning yourself out was not the way to do it and it was like a pattern that you had you'd been kind of taught and conditioned in some way that you know you work hard and you have to work 10 hours a day not eight hours a day to get something and you know all of this kind of um a, this kind of mentality on how to do something that is coming from outside of you rather than inside of you whereas actually you as a person would be able to do two hours of work that is profoundly impactful and don't need to work 10 hours a day but you kind of gave in to the feeling of oh this is what everybody does so it's what it must be what I should do and you kind of reflect on that now and you're like do you know what I want to do it differently but there's still a feeling of being scared that it's that you should be doing things in the past but that there is a there is a, a real sense of truth that's washing over you where you know you need to do you need to release all of the old patterns old ways of thinking there's such a release in that particularly when it comes to the mind you want a different pattern because you know you need a different pattern for a different outcome and that's how and because you've been really honest really um aware really like connected to your spiritual journey this gateway is opening for you and these this this knowledge will come in this luck will come in there's a real and we've got this divine intervention here i do feel there's a lucky energy surrounding you okay let's see what else we need to be aware of here what else do we need to be aware of it's like you could never in the past you could never quite get there there's a, there's a saturn energy here if you follow your astrology there could be something with saturn um it's like you could you just had all this energy these ideas but just something happened where it kind of held you or it kept kept you captive and things didn't feel in this release energy this next time you feel that that's not going to be a problem there's We've got food, choose locally grown organic produce. This feels like you growing your, so this could be applying to food for you quite literally, if that um, if you grow your own food, or this could be you growing, nurturing and taking things from your own garden, i.e. in your thoughts, not from somebody else. This is for you to pick from your own garden, not from, from somebody else's. And we've got the golden cities. Live ec ecologically and harmoniously. Ecu 
oh, why can't I talk today? EQ, I'm just going to let you read that. I don't know what is happening with my speech. <laughs> um, and we have the economy. Trust your needs will be met. Before whatever happened with this pattern, it could be that you have, uh, it could be that money or finances was a problem there. Um, but that's going to, again, that's going to change this time around. Be aware of your spending and your finances. It's almost like having, uh, doing a financial plan, doing a budget. Um, like even if you were to do a budget, it's not really about the, the amount of money. It's the how you are looking after your money and nurturing money. So it could be that when you're, when you've got money that comes in with your salary, for example, from your job, you say, okay, 50% on living expenses, 30% on um, like lifestyle, 20% on um, 20 percent on savings. This is like the 50, 30, 20 method or the 30, 30, 30 method or whatever, whatever it is that feels good for you. Uh, and just trying to stick to that. And it's not necessarily about being super strict on that. It's about having a structure to help the fi your financial um, growth. And we've got nature tune into the natural world so it could be that at this time it's you're getting inspiration from nature you could be out in nature this whatever this new thing is could be taking you into nature in some way or reconnecting you with nature on a deeper level and we've got illuminated masters oh this is beautiful and we've got the master buddha here as well and well this is all pretty amazing be a spreader of love You're going to lead by example here. It, this could be the teacher energy that came up. You're going to lead by example, like your your courage. I'm hearing courage from spirit. Your courage with how you are navigating your situation right now is going to be seen by people and they're going to draw inspiration from it. You're, you're an inspirational leader, whether you realize it or not, whether you're in this kind of typical um, like so-called teaching position or not this is you're a, you are a leader you're an, you're an inspiration and that's how other people see you not necessarily it's not a self-imposed title and it's not necessarily a job that you do or something quite literal but you are inspiring for other people three of pentacles yeah you're inspiring other people to think in a different way to do things in a different way and we've got the two of cups nice what else have we got here You're helping other people find their own authenticity in by them watching you and how you navigate your own life. I feel like that this is in the past as well as now. So we've got the three of pentacles, two of cups and ten of pentacles. This is where it feels very new. This is where you might be connecting with new people. This could be new job. Could certainly be new career move. doing things in a very different way um, and we've got the two of cups and the ten of pentacles <laughs> if this is a romantic relationship or if this is a, a new phase of a romantic relationship it's kind of like you know if you'd said to somebody you and your partner had said you know what actually it's not working let's split up and then all of a sudden you're back together but you haven't even talked about it it's just naturally come back in and there's been like a refresh of something this could be in any way shape or form but you're on much more stable ground now. You're on much more stable ground. There is also something here about connecting to soul tribe. There's a joyful energy coming through. And I feel like this is, you're f picking up on this now, but it's just going to like get better and better and better. Nice. We've got the king of wands. Whoops. Sorry. We've got the king of wands. Oh, yes king of wands uh sorry i said that three times um we have a very passionate energy that's coming at the two of wands energy the two of fire energy and then it just as you as you just allow things to flow and as you stay in this feeling of joy and this newness and this in awe of what's happening almost you and you stay connected to yourself and to the important people around you something just develops and grows and you just become in you just you just end up in this mastery energy it's like you don't even realize that that's where you're going because you naturally work very hard that's why if something was felt like hard work before your natural 
energy was to kind of double down on it, go down on it, um, do it even more. This is not about doing it more. This is about the quality of what you're doing and the reasons why you're doing it. Don't feel like you have to work yourself to, into the ground or overexert yourself in any way to for something to happen or to come to fruition. You're taking really taking action from a place of of, of passion here. And we can see that with uh, the Three of Pentacles and with the Seven of Wands. Keep going keep putting things in place keep going keep trying new things and we've got yes we've got the eight of pentacles because that's what came out first for you and the star big movement big wish come true that's why there's so much joy that's coming out here you are an absolute powerhouse but i don't feel like you know that yet I don't feel like you know that you're such a powerhouse and such an influence, a positive influence. Um, and spirit want you to know that. What you've done as well in the past hasn't been in vain, even though it might have felt like that. It could have been trying in a relationship has felt like it's been in vain. It could be that, well, it could be relationship. Um, we've got ma manifestation intimacy at the bottom of the deck here. It could be that you are really overworked yourself you really put yourself in a position of burnout because you were trying really hard to bring something um but you don't it's not going to be the same and you don't want it to be the same and uh, just trust that trust that it doesn't need to be the same as before if you're feeling nervous about that in any way we've got communication i feel with this communication card it's communicate if you do have worries that come up if you do have things that you're curious about or that you um, just want to explore or that you feel scared about talk to the people around you like talk to your people and just talk it out with with this three of um pentacles energy it's like talk it out we've got this truth we've got the truth so the masks are coming off anything that was conditioning patterns it sorry you've got the reflection there anything conditioning from the past it's absolutely cycling out which is why there's no reaction from anything that was an old pattern we've completely let that go i feel like this cycle is already completed but this is where all of those lessons and that learning and the evolution of what you've been through in the past and the healing that you've been through in the past is now being able to take action unencumbered action no holding back anymore and yes yeah, speak your truth tapping into source energy you have access to source and we all have access to source energy but you are able to harness it now that's where we've got this curiosity coming in this like talking about different things working different things different things out um trying just trying different things and being in this newness the newness is really important right now but you you are the, the way that you're harnessing is different and you, you will enjoy it so much more and we've got self-love yeah this is not about burning out this is not about uh putting somebody else or something else first because you feel that that is the right thing to do because actually when you take away all of the conditioning there is no first everything is in connection with the, with other things with everything else and this self-love is then radiates out love to other people so being in this this state of self-love this is not about choosing yourself this is about choosing the truth because that is self because that is the oneness it's this real breakdown of conditioning or barriers to truly express who you are and we've got rest so make sure that you take rest when you need it there's nothing wrong with taking rest when you there's nothing wrong with going against well there's nothing wrong with going against your own truth and if your truth is to rest then follow that truth and there's nothing wrong with resting it doesn't make you in any way um less capable or anything that might be kind of a remnants of the of past conditioning and we've got unleash hold nothing back expand into the universe not a time to be small this is a time to be 100 percent you no holding back especially when it comes to other people if you feel you need to hold back somehow some way for other people because these new people that are coming into your life and this new thing is just birthing and breathing in a whole new life for you 
whole new experience, whole new sense of joy and satisfaction and fulfillment, I feel as well. Um, where are we? We are here, but also here. Sorry, I've just this has just caught my eye before it goes. And we're here. Sorry, I don't usually there we go. Let's see what's here because that felt very um important. We've got singularity, thrive, and reevaluate. Singularity, you are your own sun, moon, and stars. So this the this is about focusing on you because by focusing on you, you then impact everything else in a positive way. And we've got reevaluate the starlit sky. We look in the starlit sky, we look for the falling stars. Still can't talk. Sorry, Aquarius. There is nothing, um, there's nothing to hold back right now. Reevaluate by being curious. Communicate things that feel unclear because things don't feel stuck or heavy. It's just like, okay, well, this is a good idea, but actually, I think we could do something better. Like, what kind of, what options do we have? Um, this is just about the constant reevaluation to then hit on this the source of truth and we've got thrive there's enough space for the moon and her stars not to tear each other down this really feels like this self-love energy you don't have to there's a self-sacrifice here that you don't have to be in any kind of self-sacrifice mode or feel like you have to hold back for somebody else um, in any way for any reason because there is plenty if if you feel that is the case with a person then take a step back and reevaluate that situation if you feel like this in yourself like you there's this the fear of expansion or this worry that you um can't do something that if that resonates for you this feels like a fear of success which is still the same fear it just displays itself very differently and it's like going deeper than that what's happening right now is going deeper than that and being in this uh just being connected to the thing that feels exciting in this state of newness stay connected to the excitement because you're you're going to in definitely going into this wish here and we've got one bat spirit be at home this is about you being totally authentic not holding back no holding back feels like the important message spirit want to give you today and also to let you know that you are there's a lot of joy and happiness coming your way you're stepping into you're stepping into all of this by being free of anything peacock spirit yes let it shine it's like allowing your feathers to go like expanding out and let you letting your your true self shine letting your heart open and um and letting your heart shine out yeah well we've got groundhog spirit time to let go yes let go of everything that is not in alignment with this newness and we've got dove spirit be peace but that's where you find your peace when you just let everything go it's like don't feel like you have to do something the way it's almost like you it's just the pattern the pattern just needs to break the habit of the pattern is just what's breaking and we've got cow spirit the miracles are endless yeah i all my, i want to say to you watch let everything go just be just be 100 percent in this and enjoy this new thing this new excitement this this new exhilarated situation or feeling or experience that you're having and just stay in that and trust that you can stay in that and then allow and let everything else to just appear just to come in and appear for you and and it's almost like you're watching this cycle break incredible energy so much joy coming like that you're experiencing almost now but it's very close so much joy and love and connection with others as well okay Aquarius I will leave it there for today I hope you enjoyed the reading and you got some clarity and some guidance from spirit through the messages today thank you for watching the reading with me today as always and I hope to see you next time take care